Um, recording. So, explicit rule formula form whatever. Um, it's nice because I can ask you to find like the 75th term and you just throw it in the calculator. You can get it effortlessly with very little time. If I was to ask for the 75th term for recursive, well, that's a problem because you would, if all you got was the very first term, notice it's a sub one, you would have to do a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, all the way to a 74 to get a 75. Or you figured it out in your head and you kick in your mental math. So, that's the downside to recursive. However, recursive is wonderful because it's kind of what I've been making you guys do from term to term. Like you're just adding 1.5, you're just subtracting 30, or you're subtracting 13. Okay, so all of you, if you've done some math without the calculator, you've all been doing recursive already. It's just that's what it's called. Okay, so looking at 19, we chose to go decimals, okay? All right, we're going to write the explicit and the recursive for both so you can see the way it looks. I'm yelling over that word. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's do explicit first. An is equal to the first term plus n minus one quantity times my common difference, right? Okay, what would the recursive be? You always have to give your first term. That's 0 0.6. And I'll pause after this so you guys can copy it and I'll step away. Oh, and can I clean this up? Yes? Some of you guys like it cleaned up? Okay. A 
So subtract and get those values. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh? Is that the recursion? Yes. Yeah. So just subtract. So if it's 0 0.6, 0 0.6 minus 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 minus 0.3, 0, 0 minus negative 0 0.3. And so these are my first terms. I did that. Oh, you did that? Come back up, okay? So can I? Yeah, I'll go over there.